That's right. It's the electric Harley Holly. I wanna go on the road. Wanna see my love to a phone. You're my baby. Your love is like bad medicine. Bad medicine. That's what I need. For I'm the one. I'm the only. I am Ho Bo Tom. As you can tell by the shirt I'm wearing today. As you saw in the background, I have my, my do rag on, gloves on. I'm like a responsible person. Not like those idiots out there. Do have my ever trusty motorcycle helmet with me? Because it was bike week. And bike week, bike week is finally over, folks. Whew. Yep. That's all I have to say about bike week. Being a resident of Daytona Beach, it's, if you're a business, it's good. If you're a resident, it's not so good. But again, as always, for you, my YouTube audience, I have some videos and pictures of both the motocross. Oh, well, actually, I have the, the lead up to Bike Week. Motocross at Daytona International Speedway. And, of course, pictures of Bike Week itself. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and enjoy all these videos. Bye. Bye. Oh my goodness, folks. Let's see. Let's take a look over here. We have Harley Davidson setting up everything. I see motorcycles out already. Making stuff look pretty. More Harley Davidson stuff. And yes, folks, it is that, see the racetrack there in the background, it is that magical time of year again, fortunately or unfortunately, Spike Week, baby! That starts, there's a little area they have set up, all the vendors, all their tents, and everything else. This is a terrible view, you will get a more detailed view. There's some spiders, they're pretty cool. The BMW, Suzuki, the Suzuki tent. Honda. Again, you'll get more views and a live action tour later from the one, the only Hobo Tom, where I present Bike Week. Bye. Okay, I don't know if you can see it up there, but up there, they literally have the crossing guard. And I think that's Main Street, and Main Street, because of Bike Week, is all closed off. Wah, wah, wah. There is a little bit of, kind of, they have the motocross here at the Ocean Center. So we'll see what happens. So this is the kind of chaos to expect from all the trucks and everything here. I was back. This has to be like the super amateur hour, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we shall see. All the people in their sports gear. There's the EMT. This is going to be interesting, folks. Bye. Sir, I think you should arrest this guy in the black shirt. I have no idea how this guy got in here. Oh my goodness. Wow, this place is kind of no, so much. Chopping up these lunches. Is that big, big? So, 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 so I can put this on my resume. Red button to stop. I, oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, here, just hold it up towards me really quick. Oh, you're just cutting it. Proof to my girlfriend that I actually work here. And 
I do have some skills in life. Good friend of mine, Dave Kennedy, founder of Engine Eyes. Known that man since dirt, since they, since they created that dirt that's in this place. But it's good, and uh, we're going to do it. Absolutely, man. I was uh, just about an hour north. Yeah, it's been a long time. Oh yeah, baby, it is now officially bike week. First piece of ass you see, best piece of ass. It's time to confuse my kitty a little bit. Look at this cheese pump. Let me make it rain on you. What's that? Making it rain on my kitty cat. Hi ho, hi ho, it's back to work I go. Hello folks, welcome back. I'm the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom, as you can tell by all the various motorcycles and peep and peopleages. I don't know, is peopleages a word? I am off to the motocross races, there we go. There are some more motorcyclists. It's bike week, baby, and this is the marquee event. Hopefully I'll be working the other one. But, yeah, there we go. There's the world famous Daytona International Speedway. A bunch of motorcyclists. I will be sending you more pictures and videos. Oh no, it's going to be one of those days. These parking people sometimes have no clue what they're doing. I'm just glad I get to park at lot four. It's right over there. It's a little bit of a walk, but not too bad. I have handled much worse. At least I don't have to take a bus. Oh, here we go. Beloved Midway, as always. Here we go. I figured if I've ever shown you guys this. Here we are at the Daytona International Speedway, the Bill France statue, and I'll show you the walk of fame in a little bit. There we go, the famous Dale Earnhardt statue. And right now, and the, there we go, the Motorsports Hall of Fame. And all the famous handprints and right feet of all the winners of the Daytona 500. And there it is, folks. The world famous Daytona International Speedway. You have the Snoco injector. And I did get some goodies for a co worker. She asked me to. And you know what? There's no way. I'm walking all the way down to Advent Health today. If she wants her Starbucks espresso shot, she has to come to me. The bridge. And some of the bartender ladies, I think. Let's see here. I'm the Lord and Master, along with my co workers. Right over there of Gate 7. So I guess the only good news. Oh wait, I'm far away from this stuff. Well, I'll get a good view of the fireworks. And here, folks, is the world famous... Oh crap, I'm not even going to get a view of the race. I'll be able to hear the motorcycles. So that's happening all the way down there. Man, I pissed someone off today. Yep, so this is the whole motor speedway. And this guy's confused. Yep, there we go. This is where we're working. The world famous stand. All the other fun stuff. 
don't know. No race for us today. Well, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Ah, yes. The glory, gloriousness of working in Florida. It's sunny most of the time. And when it's not sunny, it's raining. So I know it's kind of far away. So there's that. I have a little kitty bicycle course going. Wow, they're really quiet compared to the cars. So, wow. Yep, so this is all the goings on here inside the stadium. So a couple things you guys hear in the background. Look at that somewhat pretty sunset with a palm tree. So right now I'm here at the races and I'm playing Tom I Joe. You hear all the motorcycles. There's some truck, some light up truck. All the people coming here for motocross, but more importantly, you can see the pretty lights here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Bass Pro, the Daytona One Plaza, there it is. And all the other nice boys. And every so often someone's squawking on the radio. Take a ride with the number 94 Red Bull Suzuki Ride West. Hey, there he is, Kenny 
great jumps. He pops over the tunnel jump like a pop tart out of the toaster. The 94 twisted T Suzuki. Oh, Rock. he's down. Oh, oh, Roxon goes down. Down goes Roxon, and here comes Bam Bam Barcha. They capitalize on the mistake, and here they come, Rob Linus, back to you. Marsha, New York, they have outstanding in these types of conditions. Also, Eric Plessinger, his father, an AMA Hall of Famer, as an off-road rider. Plessinger picked up GMCC wins. This should be the perfect scenario for him. Bam, bam, Marsha up front, Benny Blocks up in the number two spot. Chase Sexton, the champ. Then it's Kenny Rocks, and behind him, Eric Plessinger. Here comes the kill, and then Hunter Lawrence. Let's go. Let's do that. It's a straightaway, and check out Ken Rocks. The Florida rider really come up over the big infield. There they go, the 51 of Bam Bam Barsha. Roxon closing up on him. Aaron Plessinger up into the number three spot. Many blocks in behind him on the beta. The Triumph and the beta tonight both can make history if they make the main event. Two brand new marquees in the Supercross world. And they come down that rhythm section, Ron Linus. They make the left, they make the right. They're going to be in the sand section now. They don't count anybody out. Light show from inside Sunoco. Look how nice and empty this is. So rare. Make sure all the white chairs are collected tonight, brought back Folks, to the GSB, please. I have men. And turn the scanners in when you guys come up there. To learn Make sure you how to open and close the security gate. I am now a fully valued member. There's someone doing burnouts out there because I can still see the smoke on the freaking road. But I'm now a fully valued member of the staff. Right over here, we have the good old fashioned electric box. So you throw this switch. This thing goes on. I press to open, I guess to close and to stop. And I am now a valued member, and I need to stop playing with the high voltage equipment. So this is open until the very end, folks. It's the pass! The crowd absolutely electric right now when Eli makes the move. Here's the next one, Cooper Webb. He's closing up on Ken Roxon. Almost jumped right past him, same spot on the racetrack. Cooper going to try to jump right past him here on the inside. He'll jump into the loops as well. And Cooper Webb will size up Ken Rocks and he stands him up. And he will make the pass. So a lot of late, late, late lap, white flag action, boys. The crowd going wild as Eli Tomek gets that white flag. The uh, youngster, Jet Lawrence, comes into the sand section. He'll be in behind Benny Gloss here and uh, Freddie Norin. Gotta be careful, gotta play cool. You don't want to get snake bit. One goes low, one goes high. You saw what happened right game. through the middle. All right, here he comes out of front straightaway. There is our leader right there. It takes a little gingerly run right there. Crowd runs up to the midline West Cane. They are starting to come alive. I see. Number 18, he is on his way to the Daytona Supercross. Folks, make some noise when Jet Lawrence comes right by you on the left side. One more time around for Jet Lawrence. Here he comes, race fans. Gingerly coming through on that last lap. We're picking him up. He's going to hit the tunnel jump. Lawrence just out taking it easy. He sees it. He smells victory. Race fans on your arms. Your Daytona Supercross champion, Jet Lawrence. Lawrence lights the candles. First up, Tomac in the number two spot. Look at the crowd going wild over there. They're chasing Tomac. Light it up, Jet Lawrence. The crowd loves it. There it is. They're going the over. Burn it out. That guy's stealing his goggles right there. They are. They are. They are going over. Wow. Over the fence. Here they go. Charlie Wired the bridge. Gnarliest of gnarly Supercross racetracks. That was a man's race right there. Congratulations, Jet Lawrence, with the win. Tomac will finish second. Chase Sexton will slip back to third. A great ride. A 
Brittany ride for Cooper Webb climbs up the board. Ken Rossin, a great ride for Finn. Justin Cooper, six. Malcolm Stewart, Philip Brandis, Jason Anderson, and Billy Boss on the bait around now of your top ten list. Kevin, here they come. It's running. Wow, this guy can't even finish the race. Look at this guy trying to finish the race to get his points, and he cannot cross the track. There are other wow. riders still coming. That is here they come. Look at the people running. I've never, I mean, I've seen it before. They're still running. This is an active racetrack. That kid is cheering on the guy. He patted him on the back. Look at this. I've seen it on TV, but I am experiencing it and now. It is wild. It is holy. Wow. Holy smokes. Next, the enthusiasm of the Daytona fans. The folks steadily making their way. Take your time. No need to be in a rush. Do not run across the racetrack. I tell you what, I've seen this on TV, but to be here and be a part of it is simply hey, amazing. Wrong Arnie G. Somebody scream! Oh, Arnie G here, what's up? Yeah! Boost is cleared out on that side. Get your guys out of there and head back like. Gate H. I'll keep you uh, abreast of what's going on. Here in Exalted watching it. So there's the whole thing, the whole bunch of people leaving the stadium right now. So that's always a good thing. So that's nice. 81er, Javon Conte. Oh, here, let's see here. Let's see all these people leaving. Go ahead, Cindy. The gate is now closed. I am heading almost home. There we go, half truck will travel. And that's where you need to go, folks. It's been another exciting motocross here. Let me zoom in on that sign. At the world famous speedway at Daytona International. So yes, ah, you sucker, you have to go through those cones. I am not, I'm going this way. I'm the man, all these drunk idiots drivers. I don't know. Thank everyone for watching this video. Take care guys and just wait till all the other fun stuff from Bike Week comes through. Oh, there we go. And I have the light too. Bye! What a dope. I hate motocross drivers. Darn it. Bye! Okay, folks, I can officially call it and end the successful motocross. It's my uniform kind of right there. My good walking shoes. I didn't have to walk a lot too much. Hey, wait a second. A little piece of cheese here. Cheese is always good for you. I don't care what they say. Oh, that was yummy.
even though it's 12 30 got a good movie to watch some fake burgers club soda i'm gonna relax folks bye Here we go folks, on the overpass of the world famous, well you can't see it from this side, Daytona Beach Walkway, and right now you can see through the fence a little bit, it's bike week, there's a big old stadium in front of me, some biker babes right there, again a little bit of everything else here. I didn't see all the motorcycles. Oh, so here we go, folks. The world famous Daytona Beach. I always have to get some videos of Harley babes here. So first stop's gonna be Harley Davidson. Get my souvenir t-shirt and a little bit. And we'll see what else is here. So, so there's hot leathers, bandanas. Oh, I always do like to check out. Those are pretty one. Let's see here. I know they normally have more, a little bit further down. I always like to look at these. Oh, that's what I got her last year. Hopefully I'll be working that. Who will be the hero this year? Uh, Don't miss the 800 second running of America's most historic. In the world famous Daytona International Speedway, the place I call my job, which oddly enough, I've been in here for the longest time, my longest held job for five years. There's a the ticket booth. Okay, so all these are the Harley Davidsons. Not necessarily a fan of any of them, except for this is a nice looking one. Some of the more custom ones. their little stage area set up for the shows, the kind of monster energy track. Okay, these are more my style. That's perfect, it's 650. Let's see what it looks like when I get on. Price too, that's nice. That's a 500, that's actually probably pretty good. It's a little small for me, that was my first ride in my 500. That's a 
tiny bit too big. It's too low. I don't like those handlebars. It's not bad. Too big. Not big into cruisers and stuff. too bad. That's actually nice. It's a little too tall. You got a 650 just right there for me. street style back there. I've never necessarily been a fan of Yamahas. They just always feel weird. The touring. They have a nice headlight design. They look cool. That would be mine. legs aren't tall enough for some of these though. These are the, these are the fancy ones. Again, never heard of oil and I got this one all ready for you. Getting ready for a test ride. Time to go shopping, folks. I oh, some quick little videos. The other merchant got my stuff. I'm very happy. Got my niece a t-shirt. Make her feel a little bit better. Make her feel on um, special or something. I want to take a look and see what's down here. side in a little bit. Sunglasses. Others. These are the good stuff. the real custom ones. Yeah. 
a freaking car engine, not a motorcycle. I got some of my co-workers there. Kind of more custom, really custom stuff here. On this side. JP Cycles. There we set up shop here. Bike cleaning. DS18, never heard of it. Solo V Twin. Zilla, but probably looks like jackets and stuff, and then all the other fun stuff here. Motorcycle audio. Uh oh, I'm on the wrong side of this stuff. Scully, Let's see what Scully's is. Check out Hondas in a moment. Jewelry and stuff. I've never been, never been a big fan about Hondas. I guess it might be a generational thing. I guess they have some of them, more of them. That's not too bad. That's pretty big though. 1100. Some Suzuki though. It's not too bad. It's up there, but new. way out of price range. What am I looking at? Wow. 
for the Jixer. Now the thing is, I would never want a BMW because the cost to repair a BMW is absolutely freaking ridiculous. They are so custom. Shots I've been on these before, they're kind of fun. Hello, did you drive one? Oh, I did, I think, last year. Okay, I just never got to see what was underneath. So it's uh, I'm out of your 20, we released the Pro Star. In a couple years ago, I rode on an Indian, I did not like it mainly because they have the baseboards. But just to take a quick look. It's like all old man motorcycles. But yeah. There you go. Triumphs. Classic choice. Actually, they're not too bad looking. They look better than Indians because they have the pegs in them at least. But be careful if you fall, you're going to kill your shins on these. That's actually a nice one. They have Harley Davidsons. That's a lot of the Triumphs. Really the Can-Ams, these are the weird kind of spider style ones. The two front tires, I don't know. If you don't do that, you just might as well ride a motorcycle. Or not a ride.